Hi everyone and welcome to yet another video on the Project Corner. Today I'm going to take a look at two Gantt chart visuals in Power BI. So we all know the Gantt chart visuals that we have in Project Online and our Microsoft Project Schedules. But we can even have those visuals into Power BI. Now there are two visuals that uh, come to mind and there are actually more, but two are verified by Power BI and I'm going to take a closer look in both of them. So first off, let's open up. So let's open up Power BI, which is connected to my project's OData feed. Now first thing that you need to do is you actually need to open up the marketplace. And in the marketplace, there is a lot of content already available. So let's head on over to Ghent, click on enter. And these are the two that I want to uh, take a closer look at. So they're both verified by Power BI, which basically means that you are sure that it will work with the current version of your Power BI desktop application. So that is the Ghent. And let's open up for the other one as well, which is by MAQ. You can read a bit more, show more information, whatever you'd like. And also this one is uploaded. So now we have Gantt and we have a Gantt chart by MAQ software. So let's add those two visuals here. And I'll have this one on top. And we'll add this one to the bottom. The basic things with a Gantt chart is that you need to know uh, basic value, such as a project name, a start and end date, or maybe even a duration. So let's start with the top one. Here is a, a key difference between the MAQ Gantt chart and the normal Gantt chart. The, the parameters that you capture are different. Where in the MAQ, there's a focus on KPIs and uh, general information. And in the top one, there's actually an option to have a percentage complete, which could be very useful for your organization. So let's have a look. We're going to add the EPT. We're going to add the project name. No, we're going to go with the EPT. We're going to add project name as a task level. And of course you can have a task level, a Gantt chart as well, but I'm focused on recreating a kind of a project center view. So up next will be the project start date and the project finish date is also here. All right. So this is something to keep in mind about the Gantt visual. If you have to start, finish and end date, you would like to use that because uh, for Microsoft project, the duration is counted in work days. But for this visual, it's actually counted as all days. So if you have a duration field, you get very different values where this is a lot shorter. And that just doesn't sound right, right? So let's get that back in the finish date. Well, not finish variance, but finish date. This looks a lot more like my Gantt chart that I have on my environment. So let's finish this up with the project percentage complete. And let's add a resource and that's actually going to be the project owner. And I would like to have work in the tooltips. Awesome, so it has a nice percentage complete value and the other information is also here, but I seem to be lacking the work value. So this is a tooltip thing uh, but where is the work? Ah, here I see it. This project doesn't have work and this one has work. So for a project that doesn't have work in it, it will count as a uh, not visible instead of a zero. 
So keep that in mind. The colors are equal to the different enterprise project types and it doesn't hide the others. It just fades them into the distance. So let's find one of those. Ah, here we go. And there's enterprise projects and the other projects. If you click on it again, everything is selected. And there's a nice way to uh, move between the different schedules, but there's no real connection with a time bar on top of it. That would be another visual. So let's head over to the next one where this is the MAQ version. And what I like about this one is that you can have multiple values in the categories. So for instance, let's have the project name here and let's have the project work here as well. And let's finish it up with a nice project start date as well as the project finish date. So here there is no duration that you can select. So another thing that comes to mind immediately is that you have the, these nice row uh, values. So this is a bit, the, uh, the top one is a bit more clean with, with empty spaces, but the bottom one I think is much more readable. So another thing that you uh, would like to add here is the resource owner which could be a data label, I believe. So here is the project owner and uh, the KPI value actually has a, something very nice in it. The KPI overall, if you click on it, what happens is that you get a little uh, legend here and that is how you would like to configure your uh, lookup table for KPI values. So green should be a four, yellow or orange should be a three or a two, and the one should be a red value. These are the only values that you can select, so you cannot change this as far as I know. And even if you have different values in here, such as the zero that I have here, um, and if I hover over to the KPI values here and the legend, it will not change anything in the legend even. So I don't know what got missed here in the development. Maybe I'm missing something, but the KPI overall, I'm just going to remove that. So right from the start, it doesn't look that fancy, but if we head on over to the format, there's an option to change the KPI column type and you can have value here or an indicator on type. And we select indicator, we get the nice values that we have here. There's also a type value and this gives you different data and I don't know why they changed the color scheme all of a sudden. It doesn't change the color schema here. Um, that's something that might be in the next iteration of the tool. But other than that, the top one is the Gantt visual. Very basic, big, uh, big bars for the Gantt chart. There's, uh, there's information that you can find here. Um, there's also changes that you can make to this uh, visual where you can uh, have days off visualized or you can have uh, the legend being on different locations you can give it a different name so EPT uh, EPTs EPTs and uh, more interesting is of course that you have the um, the date type currently it's on week let's set it to months and the visual is a lot more readable for a generic project center view, which most of the time you won't have that on a weekly basis, but more on a monthly basis to get the overall of your portfolio. Obviously the same can be done in the MAQ version where I would have Gantt Jade Date Hierarchy. Gantt date hierarchy is the one that you want to find for the MAQ version where you can select it on quarters or years or you can even go back to the highest detail level going on one day which basically makes no sense to me at all. So with that there's two different visuals that you could use within 
uh, Power BI, which I and I kind of like both, but I tend to go with the MAQ version because it's more readable on a day-to-day -day basis where you have the row uh, colorations and I like the uh, KPI values. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and give it a subscription. If you want to see more of me, I will be posting every two weeks on a Wednesday and I'll see you next time.